Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It is December 16th, 1941, and we're back with another episode of Yamamoto's Folly. So we continue to struggle against the Allies. Let's see what this turn has in store for us, huh? Let's start off with a little more invasion action at Kaiving. And unfortunately, the tanker uh, Marina escapes our submarines off the coast of uh, Sumatra. Oh, but we do nab uh, the Ajax. I think, isn't that the second torpedo we've put in Ajax? I believe we also uh, hit her. Yeah. Kind of right around uh, Horn Island there, which we can't see very well. I think we just hit her again as she entered harbor. I have some subs laying mines here at Darwin. And then we'll split them up in task forces and really kind of try to shut down Darwin and Horn Island and this passage into uh, the Timor Sea from uh, Eastern Australia. Oh, and a third torpedo in the Ajax. I think uh, it's safe to say that she'll probably go down now. And we do hear a ship sinking sound, so that's probably the Ajax. Always nice to, t nice to take out a cruiser. He has uh, several submarines around truck. I have a lot of ASW going on. One of those ASW task forces almost gets torpedoed. And a Japanese I-166 puts a torpedo in the Dutch, such, Dutch sub. There we go, K-11. Great turn for subs so far. Uh, Triton again misses my uh, boats at truck. Oh, I spoke too soon. AMC uh, Kikuchiyo Maru takes two torpedo hits on its way down south, and it's probably going to sink. Lots of torpedo action, more at truck there. Starting off with some sweeps and sweeping mole main. I'm using my technique where I sweep adjacent bases to where the cap is located to try to get a little bit smaller pieces of that cap at a time. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we don't down any planes. Taking a Warhawk there, but Vanilla. Oh, and he has several planes here at. Uh, uh, Batan, including lightnings, it's not going to go well for my zeros, unfortunately. Yeah, three zeros lost is only a P-40B destroyed. Yeah, and he has those uh, P-38s way up high, so they get to dive down on my zeros. Take out another Warhawk, and we're doing some sweeping of Mir Singh. As well, I take out two planes for no losses. Again, um, some sweeps with some better fighters, those lightnings. I lose another two zeros, but we do to take out two of his planes. Again, inconclusive at Mulmain. And again, here at Mulmain, this time taking out. Four fighters, three buffaloes, and H81A3 with no losses. Yeah, 
inconclusive uh, above Batan again. More sweeps. Even more sweeps. Taking out another lightning. And another, so starting to turn the tide with those lightnings there. Okay, 43s. Sally's just kind of working over this unit again. I just want to keep it in combat mode and not move mode so we can chase it down. Working over the uh, Quintan runway a little bit and going against some troops in open terrain. And again at Georgetown. Those light bombers really don't do a lot of damage. And honestly, these lilies aren't doing much more either. It's more light bombing. And some Hudsons come in um, on air attack. Again, this is, I believe, jungle rough terrain, so just not a good target for him to be sending his uh, bombers over. Oh no! Uh, this is what I was afraid of. Catalina's flying from Raval, it looks like, uh, do manage to put a uh, or put some bombs into one of my uh, transports there at Wewak, and it doesn't look like my cap uh, from these two carriers flies, uh, which is unfortunate. That's why I brought the carriers in the first place, is because those Catalinas flying from Port Moresby, flying from Hor Horn Island, flying from Raval, uh, they can just really uh, be deadly to these unsupported task forces unless you bring in some cap for them. When we're sweeping, we get some buffaloes, taking one out. Again, I'm just trying to increase his attrition in the air, wear down his pools, uh, so that I can just gain air superiority uh, in the uh, over the Philippines, in um, Burma, and over Malaya. That's really my goal right now in the air. Onto the PM air phase. Oh, and Mavis does good work, uh, putting a bomb in AVD Serapoke at Depau. And next come in my uh, strike group from uh, a carrier element going after the Kagayan airfield. We do lose a Kate, but we do take out it's like three Warhawks on the ground. Carriers fly against Lei, and I'm not sure why. I'm going to have to check their settings. I thought I set them to attack Kai Ving, but evidently not. inconclusive bombing there. Um, what I've noticed is that we haven't seen our large bomber group uh, that usually flies uh, come in yet. Some great uh, work um, by this other uh, carriers, carrier uh, strike group uh, destroying a lot of planes on the ground here at uh, Cebu. So unfortunately I don't know if we're going to get our, our large bombing raids today. Still a Warhawk above Kagayan, taking out one of her Bettys. And Bettys hitting Revolve. Those are flying from truck. Two Hudsons destroyed on the ground, I'll take it. And that was it. Yeah, we didn't get our, our large bombing runs uh, uh, today. They didn't fly. Uh, I'm shocking, doing a shock attack uh, here north of Kaifeng. 9 to 1 odds and capture it pretty handily, forcing him back and destroying a lot of squads. That's good, just kind of clearing this rail line 
I want to get through to uh, Nanyang and then head up that road to uh, Cyan. Liberator attack with an armored car company, one to one odds, but he takes losses and I do not. Take one of these abandoned Chinese cities. And take this dot hex here at uh, Hawaiian. Um, it's a headquarters unit that got forced out. Uh, even with 57 to 1 odds, it still retreats, doesn't surrender. Headquarters units can sometimes stick around like cockroaches. It's sometimes really hard to actually fully destroy them unless you have them surrounded. Attack at Sin Yang. Some 1 to 3 odds on my part. Um, he takes a few more casualties. I take more disablements, but uh, we're going to have to uh, rest there for a while and uh, bring up some more uh, troops before uh, trying to uh, eject him again. Deliberate attack up here. It's in good terrain for him, though. So what starts out to be a 421 to 196 winds up being a 1 to 1. Uh, and we take some more casualties than he does. So up here, too, we're just going to have to wait a little while longer uh, until we have a little bit more force. Shock attack here um, near uh, Quete. Uh, this group we had previously forced off the road, and we're just kind of forcing them further off so they don't just uh, uh, hop back right on it and block that rail line. Yeah, good results. Start a lot of squads. Uh, we take Georgetown. About time. I feel like I'm a little bit late, December 16th, to uh, be making this kind of progress in Malaya. I feel like I should have been further south by now. Um, but there's not a lot to do at this point that I can do to make up for lost time. So I just have to make the best of it and steadily push down south uh, to Singapore. Liberta at Kaiving. We take Kaiving. That's great news. First attack. And we take Tabato, one of the better islands here in uh, the Gilberts. And Hong Kong, Java uh, as well. Not really an important uh, base to uh, take, but you can kind of cover the whole Solomons with search from, uh, from it, which is one of the reasons I like it. Attack at Port of Princia, take that as well. Taking a lot of bases today. Finally, take that Port of Princia base. I'm happy to see that. So, all in all, a decent turn. Um, shame that we took those uh, torpedoes in our AMC there. We'll have to check on it to see how it is. Uh, see if it's still floating. Let's take a look at our losses today. Aircraft losses. Yeah. Good ratio for me, right? Two to one. He takes 78 losses. I take 35. Um, most of these are in the air. Still losing way too many zeros. Um, my pools are completely exhausted of zeros. Not much I can do about that. Um, Catalinas. Um, I imagine so many got shot down because uh, they were flying from Rabal. Excuse me, I imagine they were flying from Rabal and trying to, uh, maybe at Kai Bing, who knows? Anyway, um, I think they're flying right into the cap from, uh, from my carriers and, uh, like getting damaged, uh, while doing their patrol missions is what I would imagine happened with those air to air losses and those off losses that we didn't see, uh, in the replay. Lots of Warhawks, lots of Buffaloes. Kingfishers, Lightnings. I wonder if, uh, I'll have to check the combat reports. I wonder if those Kingfishers were actually stationed at a base that I uh, took, which is why he, he took all those ops losses. Or would those be ground losses? I don't know. We'll check. Yeah, decent day for me in there, though. I'm happy with it. Let's look at ship sunk. So, shows the... Uh, um, Tomozoro Maru, that uh, XAKL that got hit by the uh, Catalinas, but doesn't look that like the AMC has sunk. So we're going to have to see if we can get it into a port um, before it goes down. 
we do take out the Dauntless, and we take out the Trout. Both good things. Um, this has a bomb uh, for that, um, so that's ASW work. But I imagine we also took out that Dutch submarine that we hit with the torpedo. Um, if it's not sunk, it's probably very badly damaged. Let's look at our point totals real quick. We're up to 512 points for allied ships, 328 for Japanese ships sunk. We're doing okay. Usually by this point in the game, I honestly like to have more allied ships sunk. Um, I feel like we didn't get that big burst of them that we usually do in the first week of the game. Uh, but that's, that's okay. I'll just be a little slower and steadier uh, this game. Let's take a look at that AMC real quick. I'm curious to see if it went down. It's right there. You know, it's a it's okay. Like this isn't great, obviously. You know, this is this is an ideal. I have 67 float damage, but there's no fires, and we're gonna be able to get it home to Lacospe. Uh, it's gonna auto disband there and just uh, take care of some of that uh, minor damage before we can actually get it to a real port to affect some uh, actual repairs but I just don't want that flotation damage to get worse on its way. All right, so I think that's it. Um, what is going on right now um, is continuing to work my way south in the Dutch East Indies, uh, continue to work my way south in Malaya. Um, we're almost to the point where we can start working on Burma. And China is kind of a, a mess right now, but eventually this will get cleaned up. I'm not in a huge hurry uh, with China. Um, we have a house rule where I can only bring in a couple thousand AV from Manchuko every month. So still kind of working with the, the first batch. It won't be until January that I think I can really um, make the progress I want to, but I'm cautiously optimistic that uh, once I combine some of these forces into kind of a doom stack and head up the road to Cyan, that I'll do a little bit better. So with Kaiving taken, with Antong Java taken, we'll move in some search planes and things like that uh, to these hexes. We're going to be well positioned to take uh, Raval. So we have some amphibious task force ready to go up here at Truck. We'll get some bombardments going, um, some mine sweeping going, some carrier support, and we'll uh, uh, take Rabal. <clears throat> and then after that, we will move on Wake, which is right there. Not oh, right there. Sorry. <laughs> Moving the map around too much. In any case, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the Discord, and take care, everyone. Have a great day.